Reuter. All right, so it's finally time I sat down and dropped my thoughts on this topic that's been on my mind for a very long time. And honestly, it was due to the comments I received in my initial D versus Wong on Midnight video, which had a lot of interesting comments in there. I mean, some were pretty much straight up biased, while others were actually interesting to the point that I'm here today talking to you guys. Plus, I miss making discussion videos because this is where I get to explain my view of things because I like to be insanely neutral about certain topics. Anyway, today's video is obviously going to be an initial D video, but this time we're going to be talking about the one and only Takumi Fujiwara. And this idea came from multiple comments of people comparing the story between initial D and Wanga Midnight. So I myself wanted to take the time to legit talk about Takumi being a very relatable character and how his story within the series leaves an uh, impact towards multiple fans. The EG6 cleared those corners at speed you haven't run in any car that you've ever been behind the wheel of. Someone want to tell me what an EG6 is? A Honda Civic! Get with it! Huh? Okay, so why don't you guys just call the thing a Honda Civic? Especially the new and younger fans that are getting into cars. Now, before we begin, everyone, look, look, hear me out. You are all entitled to your own opinions, but please, please, please don't be a douchebag in the comment section. This statement is definitely towards you elitists that like to lurk in the shadows. Like, relax, calm down. And as usual, make sure to smack that like button. And if you like the content on the channel, hit that subscribe button. We're literally close to 5k subscribers, so make a move already, okay? Okay. Anyway, when starting the first season of Initial D, Talk To Me is literally just an average high schooler that also works at a local gas station as a part-timer. Mind you, he also works for his father's local business, the Fujiwara Tofu Shop, during the middle of the night as a delivery boy. My man is literally always on cloud nine because there's never a scene where you don't catch him zoning out. Not to mention, like almost every high schooler, he doesn't know what he wants to do with his life after high school. Look here. During my, during my years in high school, the main focus was to go to college in order to evolve my education, which was honestly put in my head by my family. I legit had no passion in mind, but of course, as a young man in the making, of course, I just wanted to get my diploma just to say, hey, yo, I got my diploma. All right, I did school, leave me alone. Talk to me is literally surrounded by people that wants to do fun things or become someone known. For example, like Iski wanted to be a street racer as well as a member of the Akima Speed Stars. Again, Iski has so much passion from wanting to be a street racer, being part of a street racing gang, and then wanting to have a girlfriend, but then he ends up saying, nah, I don't want a girlfriend because street racers don't need girlfriend. That's Iski. Anyway, the only thing that was on Takumi's mind was literally trying to get a shot at his classmate, Nasuki Moki. So, Takumi did have some type of passion. My man Loki he wanted love in his life which again is highly accurate to every guy coming up in high school and even middle school you got to be lying to me if you didn't have at least one urge to understand the birds and the bees back when you was coming up either way our boy wanted to be her lover even though at the time she secretly had a sugar daddy that's no good the dude in the mercedes which i find out that um within the manga of initial d that was the father of one of her classmates look look one of these days i legit have to sit down and even look either sit down or even do a stream reading the initial D manga because there's a lot that wasn't showcased in the anime nor the movie. At this point, talking me really out here built like me going for women with toxic behavior. Out of pocket for that shit. Way out of pocket. What do you gain from that? And I ain't mad at him. All right, so fast forward towards the feud between the Akina Speed Stars and the Akagi Red Suns. Local racer Kesuke Takahashi got bodied by the ghost of Akina, who happens to be our boy Takumi, whom was just trying to get home at the delivery run. Look, Takumi wasn't really invested in racing. Not to mention that he only drove to handle deliveries for his father. Like, come on, bro. You think the first thing that go come to his mind is, oh, hey, I see a fast car. I want to race this car. Hell no, nigga. I'm trying to get home. I got school in the morning. My old man got me doing this late. <laughs> anyway, however, the moment Bunta told this man if he wins against Keske, he'll give him a full tank of gas for his hot date with Natsuki. My man was just like, damn, a full tank of gas going on a date with Natsuki and seeing her hot ass swimsuit. 
I kind of need that right now. This man didn't hesitate. See, at this point, again, Takumi's passion was just getting close to Natsuki, which, again, is almost any guy. Any guy. Even though he got body. <laughs> even though he got body. But any guy. This is literally every guy. Anyway, but after the race with Kesuke, heck, even Kesuke himself chewed out Takumi for not understanding the gift he has. Takumi is a natural-born talented driver, secretly thanks to Bunta for having him do those deliveries at a very early age. His confrontation with Cascade definitely left him wondering if racing is something he truly has a passion for. This right here is another similarity to myself because back then gaming was my daily hobby to pretty much escape reality, though it still is. But back then I was a little headstrong about getting good in racing games such as Need for Speed and even the initial D games to playing fighting games such as Blaze Blue Central Fiction since that was my first fighting game that I really wanted to take serious to a degree. You when I needed you, nigga. This man talking me literally had a whole episode fighting with himself about his newfound passion for racing, which technically he always been doing just against the clock when it comes to those deliveries. Like talking me, I had a knack for those type of games, and Lord knows I wanted to improve because at the time you didn't know there were people out there built like you, but even better. Which led to Takumi racing up against fellow street racers like Nakazato, Shingo, Kenta. Fuck that nigga Kenta, by the way, though. On some real stuff. Sorry, one take. <laughs> and last but not least, Ryosuke Takahashi, who happens to be the actual prodigy of Guma when it came to racing. Alright, so let's dive into second stage. Because this is the point where Takumi actually becomes relatable in terms of his actions through emotions. After taking down the white comet, Takumi has officially made a reputation for himself that racers outside the Guma region wanted to race him. This is where the emperors come into the mix as big bad Kyoshi Sudo challenged Takumi who has recently beaten his rival Ryosuke Takahashi. At first Takumi declined but suddenly this man received a call only to find out that Natsuki is playing with him. This man Takumi was like nah 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 this is fake. Takumi couldn't believe what he heard until he witnessed Natsuki herself chilling with her sugar daddy. This man got enraged, he didn't know how to feel. This literally led to this man becoming enraged to the point that he didn't care about anything as he suddenly accepts the challenge from Sudo who was chilling on Akagi that he recently declined. Like bro, what? Takumi, look. Man, look, bro, getting into this part is really hurtful. Look, Takumi literally got NTR'd. Any guy that genuinely liked that special someone would do the exact same thing Takumi has done. I mean, then again, everyone is built ridiculously. Ugh, one take. Everyone is built ridiculously different. Remember, boys. We respect women. What do you mean we? Nintendo no, we? Look, but if you catch a slip, it best believe your ass need to start dipping. You feel me? Takumi literally just finished his arc with Ryosuke only to get hit with this powerful mix-up that has him losing his cool to the point he allowed his A6 engine to die due to the amount of power he abused during the heat of the moment. Like, my man was actually driving reckless similar to how he raced Singo once, you know, tapping his bumper. Of course, the aftermath leads to Takumi busting in tears after realizing what he's done. He slowly comprehend what his actions has done to him, his ride, and man, that was honestly the most heartbreaking moment within the series because Takumi just discovered his passion for driving and then all of a sudden this shit happened. Man, I, I feel like this moment in Initial D is where Takumi realized that he gotta be careful with what he do. Like, yeah, he, he was street racing, but there is consequences to this shit. My man didn't know what to do with a car. He didn't know, he didn't understand like the built of a car, like the engine or anything. So at this point, he was he was done. Thank God, Bunta was able to pick him up and the A6 at the time. Like he actually enjoyed being a street racer in his own way, but now he couldn't. Thinking about this scene definitely reminded me about my 2015 Toyota Corolla. Legit, one of the main reasons why I've been going for so long because I was lost. I lost that car. I got in an accident. I didn't have the will to drive. I was demotivated. I didn't want to do anything, though. Like, I really enjoyed that car, and I recently got it, but, you know, shit happens. I overworked myself, and, you know, here we are to this day. All I got to say is this. Initial D actually made me into somewhat of a car guy, and I'm okay with that. If there's one thing I learned once you receive your ride, you have to treat your ride the same way you would treat a woman. Go on.
No. And don't let me get started about Takumi versus Wataru. Like, this man Takumi got his A6 bad due to boot to put a new engine in it, only for him to get challenged by another A6 driver. And I'm just like, what the fuck? This is ridiculous. Mind you, Wataru's A6 was fucking turbocharged, if I'm not mistaken. Takumi legit had to learn the inside and outside of the new A6 engine in order to utilize its full power during the race with Wataru. And I'm just like, damn. This is where this man development kicked in because he went from not knowing shit about cars into knowing a little bit more of course during the beginning of fourth stage that's where he showcased that he's really really knowledgeable when it comes to cars now anyway i'm gonna stop right here all i gotta say is this for any newcomer that like cars or want to get into cars and you're choosing initial d as how can i say this a motivator legit if you watch initial d between first stage to third stage is where you'll be sucked in you actually want to be a car guy because that's literally what happened to me. There has been so many times I watch first stage all the way back to third stage. When it comes to fourth stage, you see Takumi is really well developed in terms of knowing about cars now. But like you need to see this man from the beginning. All right. You need to see what he went through, see how relatable he is and stuff like that to see how this man's now knowledgeable when it comes to cars. Again, everybody start from somewhere. And Takumi definitely started from fucking first stage. Because that nigga did not know what he wanted to do. Nor did he know shit about cars. Alright. He just drove it. And that's it. Anyway. Tell me in the comment section how you guys feel about this video. How do you feel about Takumi Fujiwara? Is he indeed a relatable character to your eyes? Let me know in the comment section. Look here. I'm not trying to start a fight between Wong God Midnight fans and Initial D fans. At the end of the day, somebody had to come on the mic and tell y'all how one of these characters actually is relatable. And Takumi is definitely relatable. Again, I was not that deep into cards until I watched Initial D and I seen what Takumi went through. Okay? Takumi is legit a good ass character. He's not perfect, but he's a really good, relatable character. So, with all that being said, this has been your boy Eternal Oblivion. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please smack the like button, subscribe to the channel if you like the content that's on here. And with all that being said, I am going. Peace. Push me to the